Okay, I've had a request for this one, Talk Talk, Living in Another World. Now this is a band I absolutely love. What a great band. So I'm looking at the live version, which is in a different key to the album version. I think the album version is a, a tone higher, and this quite often happens with bands. The, the singer later on finds they don't want to sing so high, so they take the song down. So I'm going to play the, the live version. I suggest you check it out. Um, OK, so the song changes key quite a lot. There are three sections and three key changes. And the bass doesn't really come in at the beginning. There's a verse before the bass comes in. So I'm going to call it the bridge. So we're playing in B flat minor. So we've got three chords, B flat minor, G flat major, A flat major. So for the B flat minor, we're going to play from the scale, the first, the B flat, the fourth, the E flat, the fifth, the F, and the octave, B flat. Coming in on the offbeat, one and two and three and four and one. So one, four, five, eight. Okay, and then we're going to play F, A flat, B flat. section so E flat F to be one two three four one two three four one okay now we're going to go to the G flat and we're going to play the one, this is a major chord, but we're just going to play the, the first, the fifth, and the ninth. So the ninth is the second an octave higher. So you've got you've got eight. If you play the major scale. One, two, three, or eight, nine, ten. So we do this. One, five, nine, eight. So it sounds like this, one and two and three and four and one. Okay, now we do this one, five, nine, eight, and then one, five, eight. ways you can play the, the, the ninth. If you wanted to, you could play. I'm sticking with the D string because I like the sound of the um, this B flat compared to A flat, sorry, compared to much warmer. So that's one, two, three, four, one. Up to the A flat. Um, so we're playing octaves one, eight, one, and then E flat, D flat. Then we're going to go back to the B flat. So that's that's this what first bridge section. Last time before we go into the next section, instead of playing, we just do the other way around. And then we're going to go to E. And then we're going to go to a 
key change to E minor. So that's our first bridge section. Okay, so now we're in E minor, the chords are going to be E minor and C major. So now, now the rhythm changes to it's kind of straighter. So we're really on the beat here. So that's E, A, B, G, D, G, D, E. get to the C we're going to play G D C yeah once more one two three four now we're in C we're going to play uh, uh, a major triad but we're going to play, instead of playing the, the, the high E and the high G, we're going to play low E and a low G. So, so C, open E, G. I'll just show you how it goes. Three, four. And then we do this, uh, we're going to play open E G, open A, C B, and then we're going to go back in, so we're from the C, essentially the chorus okay so if I play from the bridge before it's going to be one two three four one change now we're going to go to A flat minor and again it's a similar thing we're going to play A flat minor E major G flat major and the rhythm of this uh, how's it going A flat minor, one, one, three, minor third, which is the B. From the flat seven back, G flat. The fourth and the fifth, D flat, E flat. Once more, one, 
two, three, four. Okay, so when we play now to the E chord, G chord, G flat, that's it. So when the song's going, that they only play that once, and it kind of does. Now we're going to go into the next um, verse. So yeah, so they're the main sections of the song. When the second verse comes in, we're just going to pedal this A flat, and we're doing this. Essentially, we're going. But I'm hearing a more of a little push. So again, a mute. He does that for the whole of the verse and then we're back in with our bridge. Okay, so just as far as things like fingering are concerned, with this B flat, I'm really with this one, four, five, eight. I'm just barring. So really I'm doing the, the one and the four with the index finger and then the five and eight with the little finger. Otherwise, it's just uh, it's, it's a bit fast to kind of try and you could play it that way, but that's how I'm preferring to play it. And then with the one five nine, I'm just switching. You could you could use your second finger for a ninth chord. And then on the live version, they kind of rock out on this and do sort of this some guitar solos. So then, you know, we're still using the same chords, this A flat minor, E major, G flat major, but they're, they're kind of, you know, sometimes he's sort of... Staying a little longer, staying longer on the A flat. And the reason why that works over an E major chord is because the A flat is the major third of the E chord. So we're essentially still playing the triad. Um, but yeah, I just use your ear if you want to work out exactly. I can't remember exactly the, the, um, the arrangement of that, but yeah, it's still over those same chords. Okay, cheers.